Hey everybody, welcome to Something to Talk About. My name is Taco, and I'm I'm here to talk about a squire, a certain mute squire. So yeah, let's just uh, let's just say this. Hi, welcome to Something to Talk About. My name is Taco, and yeah, we're heading to the Iron Islands. We're talking about a mute squire named Wex, and Wex is. Wex is great. I like I like Wex. So, yeah, if you don't know what this is, it's Song of Ice and Fire lore. I'm going to yell at the, uh, the uh, I'm yelling at you guys. I'm here to yell at you guys. Read that if you've never been here before. And, um, yeah, so this is my uh, Song of Ice and Fire character of the of the week. And uh, it's Wex Pike. So, without the uh, more ado, and for some reason I can't talk very well today. It's, you could probably find which videos I filmed this day, even though they're going to be weeks apart, maybe. Uh, but like, oh, that's the day that he, he couldn't talk so well. <laughs> Wax Pike is a bastard son of Sigarn Botley of Lordsport. He was born mute. Wex has a tangle of dark brown hair and almost a feral face. What does that mean? Like it's uh, like it's unwashed? Okay. No, you, you just a little... Like I'm feral? Wex Pike. Well, you can't talk. I'm not. I'm not making fun of you people. That's not what I'm doing here. Uh, he has a wide mouth, sharp nose, and a pointed chin. He learns quickly and is inept with daggers. Though he's mute, he's considered clever, and he likes to gamble at dice games. Who doesn't? I don't. So that answered that question. <laughs> he's the bastard of Botley. A bastard is a person uh, whose parents are not married. To each other, a polite way of referring to someone who is bastard born is by referring to them as a natural son or natural daughter. There's a certain stigma that comes from being a bastard. They're said to be born with lust, lies, and weakness, such as they are said to be wanton and treacherous by nature because of the stigma, stigma, not stigma, stigma bastards have to deal with. They are said to grow up faster than true born children. My parents were not married until I was two. That makes me a bastard. And other things make me a bastard, too. I'm a bit of a bastard. All right. Um, house Botley of Lordsport is a noble house from the Iron Islands. I talked about Tristan Botley. Christopher. Not Tristan. Christopher. Christopher Botley. Christopher Botley. Uh, before in one of my videos. So go check it out, huh? <laughs> so I've covered Botley before, is what I'm trying to say. They're one of the principal houses sworn to the great joys. Their seat... Of Lordsport is located on the island of Pike, on the opposite side of Greyjoy's Keep of Pike. They blazon, uh, their blazon is a shoal of silver fish and pale green. It's cute. I like it. It's cool, cool sigils. It's a bunch of, bunch of little fish, bunch of, bunch of silver fish, right? Bunch of white fish. Okay. So Theon and Eskerid. So uh, we meet Wex in the Song of Ice and Fire books in a uh, clash, right? So, uh, Clash of Kings, when Theon sails, this is what sailing looks like, over to the Iron Islands, he lands in Lordsport because you can't land in Pike. You land his ship, not his, like, not like his, uh, his starfighter or his plane, his boat, um, to land, um, <laughs> uh, in Lordsport because he has to then travel across the island over to Pike. So, yeah. Theon returns to the Iron Island to seek an alliance with his father for uh, King Rob Stark. He arrives at Lord's Port across the island. Wex becomes a squire to Theon as a part of a deal that Theon strikes to buy a horse named Smiler. <laughs> the <laughs> I want to buy this horse. How much you got? I don't know, man. Can I get a deal? Yeah, I'll get a half off if you, you get my mute son as a squire. Whatever. <laughs> Come on, Smiler. <laughs> and come on, Wex. <laughs> All right. Um, where was I? He is approached by a striking ironborn woman calling herself Esgrid. Theon is taken by her and immediately becomes the flirt. He harasses her. I don't know why I wrote flirt. He harasses her. He's a harasser. He harasses her. Uh, he's like, you married? She's like, yeah. He's like, that's fine. What, are you pregnant? Yeah, I will Let's get let's get busy. <laughs> She's like, jeez. He's, he's a jerk. All right. Theon. Early Theon's a jerk. That's not um 
That's not controversial for me to say. Um, Theon is taken by her. All right. So Wex recognizes her as Asha Greyjoy when she claiming to be Esgrid due to him being mute and Theon being a jerk. Wex does not alert Theon. He's like, oh, he'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> Once Theon learns who Esgrid is, Theon is embarrassed. Theon strikes the boy for smirking and Theon tells him, that's for enjoying it so much. Wham! And that's for not warning me next time, grow a tongue. Just, I, I saw that you were flirting with your sister, so I went, and I grew a tongue, and then I told you. What are you talking about, Theon? Uh, taking the North. So when Balon Greyjoy reacts to or rejects the alliance with Rob, he sends his Ironborn Raiders to take the North. It's a bit of a rejection, right? If I was like, hey, man, you want to like go into business together? It's like, you know, I wasn't going to do anything. I was just going to sit over here, mind my own business. But since now you're asking, I'm going to say no and I'm going to burn your house down. What? <laughs> a bit of an overreaction. Simple no would have worked, Balon, but whatever. <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, he wants to go take the north and send his Ironborn Raiders. So being being Theon's, Theon's squire, Wex participates in the Herring of Stony Shore, which is just you know, ripping apart some villages on Stony Shore. And later when Theon decides to capture Winterfell, while in a Winterfell, he sleeps below the foot of Theon's bed. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, Bran and Rickon, when, when Bran and Rickon start to disappear, when they're Stark, why did I say start? <laughs> you don't start it, you just disappear. When they disappear, Wex is part of the search party. Wex is paired with Farlin, the kennel master. You guys want me to cover Farlin? I was just reading this and I was like, oh yeah, that's a good character. Huh. He's not on my list. You want him on my list? I guess I can put him on my list. All right. Okay. Uh, where was I? Wex surprises a vixen at a stream. And then after that, that's just a sentence for you. Um, he claps when he finds, um, he claps his hands to point out that they are now seeing wolf prints and not Hordor's uh, treads anymore. And Theon thinks the search party has to be, has been tricked. So he can't talk, right? So he's part of the search party and he sees tracks and he's like, and they're like, what? He's like, <laughs> look, I, look, you figure out what I figured out. <laughs> oh, Hordor's not with him anymore. <laughs> All right. Where was I? Um, Theon sends Wex back to Winterfell, and then he goes to the Acorn Water Mill with Agar, Glamar, Gineer, and Reek. Not really Reek. That's not the, that's not the Reek you're looking for. It's a way worse Reek. So, <laughs> anyways. Um, yeah, Theon's going to do some shady crap, so he sends Wex and other people away. So he can go do his shady stuff. So the burning of Winterfell. Wow, that didn't last long. Wex is frightened by Theon's nightmares, because Theon keeps having crazy nightmares. Uh, Sir Roderick Cassell, the castellan of Winterfell, breaks Dagmir's force, Dagmir Clefjaw's force, in the fight at Tor Torren Square. Strengthened by Tullhart men, he uh, marches on Winterfell from Castle Sirwin or Kerwin? What do you guys go with? Theon has uh, has allowed Reek to leave uh, Winterfell in search of aid by promising to uh, find a few hundred reinforcements for Theon. Wex is the first to stand outside Theon when Roger Cassell's Northmen come to take the castle. It's actually a really cool scene because he's like, who's going to stand with me? And everyone's like, and Wex is like, yeah, I will. I like you, Theon. Well, he doesn't say that, but he, he he steps forward and everyone's like, well, we can't be can't be outshined by by Wex. So he gets a little crew after that. So yeah, it's a cool scene. Um where was I? Yeah. Later as the sun set, a force of a roughly six hundred Boltons from the Dread Fort arrives and meets the Roderick Stark's army. Roderick, the Roderick's Stark army. He's not Roderick Stark. It's Roderick's Stark army. <laughs> Believing the Dreadfort men to be reinforcement, 
reinforcements, Roderick offers his hand in greeting the helmet to leader. However, the man uh, takes Roderick's arm off at the elbow and reveals his identity as Ramsey Snow, the bastard of Lord Bolton. The uh, uh, battle winter ba Winterfell begins, and Ramsey then has the castle burned down. So Reek was Ramsey the whole time, and then he shows up, and then Theon sees all this, and Theon's like, oh, hey, you helped, and he beats down Theon, and that's the last time we see him until Theon becomes Reek. A lot of stuff going on here. So yeah, so he sends out the stinky Reek to go get reinforcements, and he comes back as Ramsey Bolton, the whole army behind him, and then he's like, hey, I brought reinforcements. I'll be burning your house. I don't I don't think this is a controversial thing to say, but um Ramsey Bolton, kind of a jerk. Kind of a jerk. Yep. All right. Surviving the burning. Well, that's good. At least Wex lives. Uh later we find that Wex survives the find out. Later we find out that Wex survives the sack of Winterfell by climbing the heart tree in the godswood. He stayed up there for days sleeping in the branches. Excuse me, I'm yawning. Man, I'm boring myself. How are you guys doing? Even as the men search the godswood, he um, he watched Bolton men cut down the Northmen and the Ironborn men alike as they try to yield. From up in the tree, he witnessed the departure of Bran and Rickon Stark, along with their direwolves and companions. Um, staying downwind because he's smart and he doesn't want the direwolves to smell him, he follows Rickon and Osha and Shaggy Dog, learning that they are abandoning the mainland and crossing the Bay of Seals to Skagos. Cool. So uh, White Harbor. <laughs> Eventually falling into Manderly control, Wex is taken to White Harbor where they realize he is not an intelligent, he's just mute. Um, they begin to teach him his letters, asking him yes or no questions, and then use chalk to draw pictures. Lord Wyman Manderly and Robert Glover learn the truth of the sack of Winterfell and Wex. Um, what, am I, what am I going for? Reputed, reputed. He, he says that Ramsay's claims are not true of um, Theon being to blame. So everybody, everybody has the same story that Theon is the turncloak and he burns Winterfell. Wex is like. No, it didn't happen that way. Uh, so they now know, like Wyman Manderly now knows, thanks to Wex, by drawing pictures and answering yes or no questions, that Theon didn't do it, Ramsay did it. And they're about to, like, go to Ramsay's wedding, so of course they're like, all right, I'm glad we know that now. <laughs> After Davo Seaworth is captured and his execution is faked, gotta love the Manderly plot, um, Wex is introduced to Davos at the new castle, and Davos finds out that Wex's eyes look older, or he finds that Wex's eyes look older than the boy's actual age. He's seen some stuff, guys. And uh, Davos finds that, uh, where was I? Wex uses a knife to carve his name, because it's like, hey, what's your name? And he grabs a knife and he carves his name into a wooden beam for Davos. Wex. Before uh, flipping the dagger in the air and catching it. It's like a cool scene. What's your name? <laughs> cool. Uh, Wex, you're pretty cool. After Davos uh, is told a Wex, yeah, Wex story um, by Robert and uh, Wyman, who already burned a Winterfell, or yeah, who really burned Winterfell down, Wex reveals the location of Rickon by throwing Robert's dagger at Skagos on Wyman's map. So it's like, where did he go? And he throws it and it sticks into Skagos. And, and then it's like, oh, no. <laughs> it's a cool scene. All right. Uh, Lord Manderly tasked Davos of retrieving Rickon and Shaggy Dog. So Davos is on his way to Skagos. You can see some unicorns and some cannibals. Woo! All right. My final. So that would, that's the whole story for Rick so far. And uh, let's get into my uh, theories and stuff, right? So what's up with Wex? I found a few Reddit posts questioning how Wex made it from Winterfell to White Harbor, being a mute and ironborn from the north. Um, uh, most just ask, but one post uh, from uh, uh, Clemente, oh, wow, I'm not reading that word. 
<laughs> I'll do it into his Chlamydia Del Arte. Great name. However, speculates on how they propose that Wex is actually one of Varus. Yes, the spider. Varus is a little bird's. And uh, I won't go into the evidence, but uh, just that the illiteracy is just an act and that uh, he wrote letters to Varys and Varys sent him to House Manderley to destabilize the North for fake Aegon. I don't buy it, but it's cool and outside the box. Yeah, so go check out that one if you want to read the full. I'm not giving you guys the full thing, but that's just kind of it, but... You know, maybe they, he didn't follow Rickon at all. Maybe he's making it all up, and he's just trying to, you know, disabilize the North a little bit. So when fake Aegon comes over, the North is more more chaotic. It's already pretty chaotic. Uh, and if you want even more tinfoily tinfoil, Bridge Four here on YouTube. Uh, I'm subscribed to Bridge Four. Uh, has a video on Wex proposing that Wex grew a tongue and maybe even wrote the pink letter. <laughs> God, I love YouTube theorists. Uh, Bridge Ford's got a pretty decent video on Wex, but I don't think that most of it's accurate. But yeah, it's fun. I don't really think a lot of theories are accurate. It's just, I just have fun. I just, I just read the books and enjoy all you guys. So yeah, thank you for watching. This is my Wex Pike video. Go check out all my other stuff. Uh, all my, if you want to hang out with Ironborn some more, I do got Roger the Reader and Christopher Botley covered. Um, all that fun stuff. So go check it out. And um, yeah, subscribe if you've never been here before. And uh, that's all I got. You guys have a good one. Peace.